At this pivotal moment, I see several priorities for the global agenda. We must continue to fight against the global pandemic. We must revitalize the global economy and accelerate its transition to net zero. We must preserve biodiversity by deploying nature-based solutions and we must narrow the gap between the rich and the poor to achieve more sustainable global development. With these goals in mind, it is my distinct honor and great privilege to introduce His Excellency Xi Jinping, President of the People's Republic of China, to open the Davos Agenda. Like, what in the world is that? Oliver Land is here. He's the Breitbart London Bureau Chief. Oliver, how are you, brother? Not bad. Thanks for having me on again. Well, we got President Xi kicking off the World Economic Forum. But before we even talk about the ridiculousness of that, um, who is Klaus Schwab? What, what is his deal? What's his motivation? Who is this cat? Well, Klaus Schwab's a German economist who founded the World Economic Forum. This peak ironic globalist talking shop and you know we'll go on to why it's peak ironic in a second talking about Xi Jinping and the epidemic of private jets that attends all these functions but these guys are all about getting past the national borders getting against national responsibility and leading this sort of globalist you know, takeover if you want to call it that and the way they do this in part is through these enormous uh, talking shop events they hold every year in Davos uh, in Switzerland. Uh, this year, the second year in the row for this to have happened, I think actually they've dialed down the irony somewhat um, while be beating people over the head about climate change and how we all need to scale back. Uh, they're actually doing it virtually uh, for the second year in a row due to coronavirus. Uh, normally, you know, the, the uh, resort town of Davos in Switzerland is turned into a car park for private jets uh, once a year. Uh, motorcades of armored cars, police officers descending to uh, protect the delegates. So, uh, yeah, very different flavor this year. What the, the the fact that he's an econ? There's a couple of things I want to talk about. Klaus Schwab. The fact that he's an economist is interesting. The fact that he's from Germany is interesting. Um, the fact that he started this in 1971, quite a long time ago, to to build up to the influence that they have today. And and you mentioned the, his globalist vision. Where does that come from? Do you, know, do you know anything about his background or him or where his environment that he grew up in that caused him to even have these desires? What do you mean why Klaus Schwab wasn't held enough as a child and now needs to, feels the need to <laughs> Pretty much. control the people? Well, uh, we can speculate on that all we like, but um, what's really important is not where it's come from, but where it's going. Uh, and this man is incredibly influential. Um, as you've already alluded to, he has these incredibly powerful people attending his summits. Uh, you know, normally it is this you know, great jolly they get to indulge in, but not this year. And you have you know, Xi Jinping and you know, world leaders this, uh, this past week when the event was taking place. We had the German Chancellor and the, I think the French President addressed it as well. So you know, it's very important people. I think for some, it's about receiving. Others, it's more for about telling and I think the Xi Jinping mm. is less an opportunity for him to receive information from Klaus Schwab but more an opportunity for him uh, to be in broadcast mode. Yeah, talk, let's talk about globalism in general. Uh, what, what, what's these guys' vision? We, we read from uh, this very weird article they wrote a couple months ago about how what life is going to be like in 2030. You'll own nothing, you'll have no privacy and you like it. It's like a weird parody that you or I would write about them. It's very, very bizarre. Um, what does their globalist vision look like? No countries, et cetera, et cetera. It is parodic, and it spawned um, this you know, saying that we see and hear absolutely everywhere, uh, which is build back better, and this bizarre idea that uh, in 2035 you will own nothing and you'll be happy. Um, this is a phrase that's been repeated you know, so long in discussion, so much in discussion about the World Economics Forum. It, it, it has passed into the realms of parody, and it, it almost doesn't feel real. But that really is what they're talking about. And very interestingly, in preparation for this slot, I was going back through some of our older coverage from Breitbart London, because we've been following this uh, since all these ideas started to be put about um, in the latest raft of papers and Klaus Schwab's new book and all these documents and things. And oddly, a lot of them seem to have been deleted. I noticed some of the uh, promotional videos for the World Economic Forum's ideas have uh, been taken down from YouTube. So clearly they're not feeling so proud about their ideas anymore. But it's this transition to a new phase 
in the world economy as they see it and which they believe is going to make us all you know, happier and healthier and you know, richer in some sense or another, uh, where owning things, having your own home, owning your own car, your own possessions, that's all going to go by because their ho the hope is to transition uh, the West into a so-called circular economy where that nothing new is created, everything is rented, nothing is purchased, um, which is going to be absolutely great uh, for a tiny minority, uh, people who, for instance, might own mail order companies, who might say have dramatically increased their wealth over the past two years, uh, but not so great for the rest of us. Um, and that's that seems to be the, the, the idea behind this so far. Hey, Cider Crusaders, available now, our latest special about Davos. And you're hearing about it, what is Davos? The World Economic Forum, what the heck even is the World Economic Forum? I thought it was a part of the United Nations. It's not, it's just a private group of a bunch of rich people who have way too much influence over your life. In this special, we talk about predictions that they called that came true. How much of a role did they have in that? And what is their latest vision? You've heard of the Great Reset, their new vision, the Great Narrative. Watch the whole special on the First TV's app and become a supporter.